would you look at this? It's another video with me, like, not in VTuber form. Like, th this is actually a bit weird, because, like, how long? It, well, literally, it's been a whole year since I've done something kind of like this, I guess you could say. Because even when I did other update videos, it's usually just my voice, or it's me with my, like, VTuber model. And if you don't know, by the way, Jonesy is my VTuber model. I stream on Twitch a lot. Yeah, it's not a big difference, actually. First off, if we want to start off this 10th anniversary video, I basically became a streamer more than a YouTuber this year. And unfortunately, that has led to the 9th to 10th anniversary series kind of falling off partway through, because I basically got less motivation to make videos and more motivation to stream instead. And as you can already tell, I'm out of breath, because... I'm standing now. Isn't this weird? Like, I'm not actually sitting down. It's because, like, when I had the camera down here, I was like, no way, I look too short. So I'm just gonna do this and stand and go from there. I'm also, like, very sniffly right now as well, so. I do apologize, but I literally have, like, today and then tomorrow to release this. So I said, like, you know, we'll do this today. Like, because if I leave this any, like, shorter, I'm probably not gonna get this video out on time. But yeah. It is Joseph Nightflyer's 10th birthday, 10th anniversary, the end of the 9th to 10th anniversary series. This will probably be like the second last video in that playlist if you're wondering. Because um, the best of 2022 and the various versions of that will also be like a part of that like playlist. Even though that's going to be uploaded like either at the end of this year or sometime at the start of next year in January. Hopefully I don't leave it till February because that would be ridiculous. But then again... The highlight of 2018 was left till June 2019, so who knows? And as you can imagine, I'm also going to be leaving a lot of this in. I'm not really going to be cutting any of the video. So, like, I don't even know if I'm going to put any, like, music in the background, so it might be awkward. And, and look, you get to hear this, right? You get to hear me sniff, you know? Like, it's mad, isn't it? But yeah, <laughs> you might have just heard there. Just my parents are talking to each other. I, I, I think I'm talking so loud that they think I'm talking to them, but... Yeah, and you might also be able to hear the hoovering in the background. That all stays in. We're going with the classic style of vlogging that I did back in 2018. And I'm glad I dumped because why the hell did I think vlogging was a good idea? I don't know. I guess at the time, I was just like, screw it. We're going to just go with anything like and just roll with it. But I'm glad I got to this point now where it's like, I'm kind of more of just a streamer than thing. Because I don't have the edit for so long and I actually get to just... Like, I, I will say, I do relax to a certain degree, but I don't know. It's just nice, like, when I stream and I know I don't need to, like, basically, um, like, edit the stream afterwards if I don't want to. And plus, I, I literally use you guys. Like, you guys clip stuff for me. I'm like, oh, cool. That sounds deadly. I'm just going to yoink that clip, put it on the channel. But at least I credit you, like, at the very least. Even though, theoretically, I don't actually have to do that because, like, it's my content, but... You know what? I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna go do that anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sounding like a dickhead now. But yeah, again, 10th anniversary. Let's actually discuss a bit more of like what I probably could have done during the 10th anniversary or night 10th anniversary series uh, that I didn't. One of them was like I had planned like a um, how I ended up in Minecraft kind of like remaster. I guess more of like a modern version of how I would draw things. And let's just say I kind of gave up on that very quickly when I was like, oh yeah, I have to draw like each an individual frame or I could go stream for five hours playing like Resident Evil 7 like I'm doing now. Which by the way, it's very fun right now. So I'm back in the streamer mood for a bit. But that's not to say as well, actually, by the way, for streaming that I've always been like uh, happy-go-lucky and it's all good. Even yesterday I got asked like, are you okay? Because I was just kind of just dead because I was playing Jump King New Bay Plus and if, if you've played like Jump King, you know how like hard that game is and oh by just playing new bay plus is another step in that direction of like just how hard it is but um yeah i don't know sorry i'm so awkward now because i'm just thinking like what else do i need to say because I, I literally just watched the 9 to 10th anniversary series and basically what i said in that has come true to a certain degree it's just as i said already i just haven't actually like continued to make more content for the 9 to 10th anniversary series i have added a few maybe a few videos and uh, VODs that I've uploaded from Twitch because now the Joseph Flyer channel is literally my like VOD channel but like I've not edited like in so long and it's just bizarre you know but um what's my thoughts sorry just there's so much talking it's just distracting me right now the um 
Oh, so, yeah, so Joe's Night Flyer channel. Oh yeah, let me actually mention, right? The Joe's Night Flyer channel is now the VODs channel. And the Joe's Night Flyer clips, which was the Flyers clips, is basically the channel for like re-uploaded videos and new videos that aren't copywritten and obviously clips and shorts. Then you have the Flyers archives, which has been changed into Joe's Night Flyers archives, which does upload, of course, content that was like seen before and like saving it so it doesn't just go into obscurity. At the same time, it's like I can upload new videos onto that that copyright. Like I uploaded one video that's never been seen anywhere before. It was just like a little meme. I was like, oh, yeah, I want to make this, and I'll just upload it to that channel. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just roasting right now, especially because like I haven't talked like this for a while with my mask on, and I'm also sniffly, and I'm also wearing two layers of clothing. Like, look, Merry Christmas, bro. I'm not gonna show the logo down here because that's well, actually I probably already did it. It's Coca Cola, all right. Not not sponsored, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Because I know as well, like, KSI does this, like, kind of standing thing. How does he do it, man? Like, it's just... I'm so tired already, like. But, um... What are the all three channels? Uh, the Nightflyer channel has it just disappeared. The Nightflyer as a, like, character has just... Just disappeared now. Like, he's gone. And, obviously, in that void, I made Sherry Aubrey's Story, the YouTube channel. After, like, months after, uh... Basically, like... Just say, just showing the existence, you know. It's just like that's also weird to think about because the like, Cherry Alba story was nothing last year, especially during that last anniversary video. But now it's like, oh yeah, here's Cherry Alba, and then here's a few of the characters, and now here's a whole channel updating you guys on the progress. And I've uploaded more to TikTok, I think. Well, actually, to be fair, I think I uploaded more last year, but I've uploaded okay amount, I guess, to TikTok. Oh man, no, here, wait, I need to mention this as well because this technically counts as a like thing I should talk about but like for some reason the TikTok I did advertising the charity stream which that's also weird to think about I did for the first time ever I've streamed for 10 hours and a half straight I think it was or something like that well I say straight but I did take breaks in between so maybe you can chop some of that out and it's like less than 10 hours but still the longest stream I've done is like this year and it was a charity stream and we raised like a hundred dollars and it was lovely like and I had to try spicy chocolate, which, by the way, that VOD should be on the uh, Joseph McFlyer's archives channel because, like, there was something copyrighted, and I was like, I ah, just move it there. But, like, again, Sherry Albert's story, that's just mad to think. I guess, as of this video, I probably should just say, like, what's going on right now with that because, like, it kind of will be important if I do look back on this video in the future because I did look back on the 9th to 10th anniversary, so I might look back on the 10th anniversary by the time we get to the 11th anniversary. But to be honest, I don't even think I'm going to celebrate the 11th anniversary this time. We're not doing like a 10th, uh, 10th to 11th anniversary series this time. It's just, yeah, we're just going to leave it as it is. But with Joe, or with Joe's my flower? Uh, with, I was going to say, with Joe's my flower story. No, with Sherry Arbor's story. Actually, let me do the voice. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Joe's and Night. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay. See, this also happens during streams as well, and you don't even get, like, any of this cut out. It just stays in. Look, Sherry Albert Story, Volume 1, hopefully will be released next year. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. Because all I gotta do now is get some artwork inside the book done, get the cover of the book done, get the book registered as an actual product, and I think then it's literally just, like, uploading that book then to, like, Amazon and you know, Apple Books or whatever it's called, I can't remember, I need to do more research on that. Google Books and all that shit, and then I just need to, like, get out there, you know? And then hopefully, that'll be that for, like, Sherry Arbor's story for a bit anyway, because I am, like, I'm also looking for a job as well, because if I do find a job in the meantime, the Sherry Arbor story stuff will probably slow down quite a bit. And I don't know if I'm going to move straight into, like, trying to get Volume 2 out, or if I'm going to, like, write another book, but... Again, who knows? We'll see what happens, like, next year. Because, again, next year is when it should go down. Ah, man. And it's also weird as well, because, like, this year in my personal life, like, I've been going through a, basically a huge amount of change. Because I say, like, compared to last year, I have gone out so, so much. Because I've just been invited to go out, and I've also invited people to go out, too. Like, it's just... I don't know, it's bad. Because, like, at this time of year, I'm actually in the probably worst state I'm possibly at right now. But thinking back on the year, it's actually been such a weirdly, like, fantastic year, you know? Like, 
at the start of the year, I literally booked a hotel and I stayed by myself, like, just to see some friends. And it's just, it's still weird to me that I even did that. I wish I took more advantage of, like, the situation and, like, actually went out every day. Because I think for two of the five days, I just stayed inside because there was, like, nothing to do. And plus it was, like, bad weather. But that shouldn't have deterred me. I should have just gone out anyway. Because the day I did go out with some of my mates, like, for a drink, oh... Such a good time. And I did that again, like, sometime in the middle of the year, I think. Like, I went out. Um, I didn't book a place this time. I just went up to where they live. We got a few drinks, and I went home the same day. Which, again, it's just... It's mad. I don't know if they know this, because, like, I don't really join their, like, Discord as much anymore. But I still love you boys, all right? I, I, I swear I'll be coming back. I'm just going through a few bits right now, and I need to, like, do this, this, and this before I come back. And plus, like, my other mates are also, like, calling me in and it's like, we're doing this, this, and this. Um, what also happened as well this year, because, you know, previous years, and, like, I think 2017, I left the country twice to go to England for a Manchester game and a Liverpool football game. And it's just, like, I'm not really too... In, I wasn't even into football at the time, but, like, I was like, cool, school trip, we get to leave the country, let's go. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, this year really takes the cake because it's the farthest I've been away from Ireland. Six hours over the ocean, by the way. And that is, I went to America. Like, if you told me, oh yeah, when you're like 22, yeah, 22, because I'm thinking, when was it, was it? Yeah, July. So at the end of July. Like, it's just that's just mad to me. Sorry, I keep fixing my mask. Because this part is meant to stay still, but it doesn't. It's still so mad to me to think that I went to America, like, we had bags packed, we went for 10 days, and we saw a friend, and we just basically traveled. It was like kind of like a little road trip kind of thing. I, like, the trip was so good, that I had to bring back the Night Flyer podcast, not just as a part of, like, the 9 to 10th anniversary series, because I already did an OVA episode of that for the 9 to 10th anniversary series, but I brought back another episode of the Night Flyer podcast because of how good the America trip was, because I think the whole podcast was literally just me just rambling on about how good the america trip was and thinking back on it now there's so much more highs than lows and it's just i don't know i don't think like i'm going to be able to replicate that experience next year i'm not gonna lie especially if i do get tied down with a job next year the only reason i could do that is because i wasn't tied down by a job and i saved up quite a bit from when i was in college and that combined together like allowed me to have a like wonderful time in america like and yeah, and it was also funny, like, the, that little story, I just remembered it there, of how, like, I went into a Walmart, it's like, oh, this is good shelf, yeah. And I accidentally walked behind the counter because I thought I could go through there to get round to the next aisle, but it was, like, its own little counter. <laughs> and they're like, where are, you, where are you going? Come on. It's like, uh, it's still gas. And, like, even just the sheer size of Walmart compared to, like, other stores, like, in Ireland, like, you know, bleeding Tesco's and Aldi, Aldi, yeah, Aldi and Lidl and all that. It's like, bro, Walmart and shit is on like a different level. But yeah, um, I think the last thing I got to mention as well is like, as of recording this video, the channel's at like I think two hundred and nineteen subscribers, which I think sometime last year it only just hit like a hundred, and I think in the last like, um anniversary video i was actually mentioning how like uh this channel was actually secondary to the flyers clips what it was at the time because that channel had overtook it in subscribers and now it's like the joseph Night flyers back on top baby you know so i remember the ranking it's like joseph my flyer uh joseph my flyers clips share albert story and the archives the archives doesn't mean, really matter but even though I don't really try with the Archive channel, it still has like 15 subscribers for some reason. I've no clue why though. Could you imagine how funny it would be if the Archives was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take over, take everyone. But it's just mad to think, right? Like, last year we were in 100 subs, and now this year we're in 200 subs. The other channels have been, I guess they've been kind of, I think, hovering for quite a bit, but that's alright, you know? But I think the most mad one is probably like my Twitch channel, because like in May, I got better internet. Like, we have the same internet, but it got upgraded, basically, for free. And, like, I just started, like, streaming so often. I was on a good streak of just streaming every day. And then once, that one time I got sick is when everything fell apart. And I think that was before I went on holiday. And then I went on holiday, and I killed the streak entirely. And even now, like, I only streamed twice uh, this week. Yeah, twice this week. 
and I took two days off previously. But I'm definitely going to be streaming today because I want, I want to play more Resident Evil 7. And by the way, if you want to join my streams, you know, you get to see the more VTuber side of me. And, and I must say as well, actually, before I forget, uh, this will probably be the last time you see me like this and in my room. Because, like, this doesn't represent me anymore, I don't think. It's more of the VTuber side of me. I just needed to do this, like, one last time before fully committing to that. If you want to see more of this, though, you can probably go to TikTok. I'll probably just wear this again. Because, like, setting up the VTuber program and then, like, recording myself in vertical just for that is just... It's too much effort for me, man. Um, Oh, yeah, and I wanted to mention, the Twitch channel has just been mad. Because I think we went from something, like... 20 plus followers all the way to like 97 as it is right now and like like other than the charity thing man that's just like mad to think about in one year we've gotten that high it might i might be exaggerating a bit it might be like 30 or 40 followers we were at but still just twitch is a different beast and i'm glad of like some of the people i've like met and talked to through twitch like even if we do just keep it as like the twitch chat kind of thing it's just i don't know it's nice and different so yeah, right, so what is the plan going into next year? Because in previous streams, I have been hinting that I would quit YouTube and all this, but I don't think I can, sadly enough to say. Even my friend kind of says, like, I probably shouldn't, but I guess I'm not, like. So what's going to happen? This and the best of 2022 are going to be the last kind of, like, proper videos I do, like, kind of edit and stuff. After that, though, on, like, when it comes to YouTube side of stuff, I'm just gonna be editing Sherry Opera story videos and compilation videos of like Twitch clips that get like clipped, that clipped me, well, by me streaming Twitch. Yeah, if you get what I mean. Uh, sometimes I'll be doing some TikToks. I'll probably still be streaming as much as I can on Twitch. And yeah, we'll just see where that goes from there. Because like, if I do get a job, as I keep saying this, I think that's when I'll really truly unwind. But until then, I guess we'll keep going, you know? Thank you so much for watching this 10th anniversary video, unedited, just like last year. Well, actually, I think last year there was music. So hopefully this year there's also music as well, but we'll see. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, obviously, if you like the video, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. That sounds so weird saying video, because I, 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 I literally do this outro for like VODs as well. I usually say, like the VOD if you liked it. It's oh, so weird. Anyway. I'm going to go, I'm probably going to pass out, and uh, yeah, thanks again so much for watching.